All right, so the big news, of course, today is the announcement of the, I'm going to get the exact title here, mm -hmm. Integrated Photonics Institute for Manufacturing Innovation. Rolls off the tongue, right? I'm trying to figure <laughs> out a, an acronym for that, the I pimped. <laughs> Well, there you no, go. No, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, but a lot of people sort of said, I, I don't really know much photonics. I don't really sort of know how this all came about. Uh, well, the president and CEO of Greater Rochester Enterprise knows a lot about it, Mark Peterson. This is a huge day for you all. You must just be doing a, a victory dance, if you will. <laughs> well, it's great. Uh, it's great for the region. It's great for our future. And it's just uh, one of those important stepping stones along um, a really bright future for the greater Rochester region. So yeah, we're excited. Today's yeah, a good day. That's part of the thing here, isn't it? That the future is not set in stone with photonics. because We don't know where photonics is going to take us. How secure do you feel, however, that this announcement today is going to translate into hundreds or thousands of jobs. Well, I'm very secure in that. I mean, we have been a leader in photonics and optics for forever. I mean, we are the center of the universe there between the University of Rochester and the number of optics degrees that come out of there, the number of small and medium-sized companies that operate in this region, in this area. Um, virtually, you know, everything that goes into space has some piece of our technology on it from mm -hmm. Rochester. So um, the strength of photonics at RIT, we really are the center of the universe for this kind of thing. And so it's a natural fit. Um, and we're going to be able to translate that into bigger and better jobs and connect all of dots. That's what this is really about. You mentioned the U of R. You mentioned RIT. I imagine they will be players in what we're going to hear uh, a little bit later this morning. Can you talk sort of about some of the other partners that will be involved in this? Yeah, this is really a national play. Obviously, it's important for Rochester to be the center of this uh, universe, uh, so to speak, because of all of our workforce, our technology, our universities, um, SUNY Polytechnic, um, another New York State um, uh, university will be involved as well, but also, um, you know, other partners and universities in California and Arizona and all around the country, as well as private sector partners like General Electric also will bring uh, this all to bear. So it really is a field where we're not positive where it's going to go. We just know it is a huge future. Uh, photonics affects everything in the technologies that we use from the cell phones. Everything is about nanoscale, getting things smaller, mm -hmm. um, having them use less energy, have them heat up less. All of those things are solutions that can be a part of a photonics play. Probably worth explaining that there have been other manufacturing technology centers named by mm -hmm. the federal government in recent years. Five others, I think yes. it is. Yes, this yeah. is the sixth. This is the sixth. Um, how does it work then? Uh, it, it really becomes a resource that perhaps companies on their own would not have been able to afford. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really not unusual um, because these things are starting to happen. The, the actual research for this kind of innovation is so, so expensive that any single one company would never take the risk. And so this is a public-private partnership, an opportunity for um, governments to support this kind of innovation along with the private sector in order to move our technology as quickly as possible. And, and it's a great model, really. You have the federal government, um, state of New York stepped up in an enormous way in, mm -hmm. this, in this particular uh, situation. 250 million? 250 million dollars. And then private sector dollars. So one of the things that makes what we're doing unique is the fact that we we have more leverage dollars, more private sector dollars on the table already for this initiative than almost any of the other centers that were already created. So mm. um, that's an exciting prospect for us. Speaking of the other centers, again, this would be the sixth. Um, we like to sort of see, okay, the investment's been made. What is the yield in terms of jobs? What have you seen of the other past five? Well, those past five, it's on, they've only been around for a couple of years, so it's really too er early to tell. I think what you can look at is from a model standpoint, you know, we've, we've learned from those, we'll learn from those other sisters. Uh, uh, cities, but the reality is, is that we have more private sector leverage. We have more critical mass in our companies that are already here, and you know our largest employer, the U of R, uh, uh, together with RIT, are driving it here mm -hmm. in Rochester. Um, we have all the elements. Add to that the fact that there's such a huge focus on economic development mm -hmm. already. And in we're going to talk more about that because there's a lot of other yeah, stuff going on. Is. He's going to stick around. Weather, traffic, and headlines coming up in just a moment. Thanks, Mark.